As the sun starts to set in Delhi, 25-year-old Ataullah begins to walk towards a playground in this Kalandi Kunj neighborhood. Every evening, he joins other young players at a rugged, dusty field for a game of football. He follows both the game and the routine religiously. I do a lot of Neymar copy, but I like it because they say that they don't want to play, they don't want to play, they don't want to play, they don't want to play. Ataullah's talent as a footballer has been recognized by many. He has taken part in many tournaments across the city. A footballer by passion, the 25-year-old has to work as a daily wage labourer to support himself. He doesn't have a home and his family is not around. Ataullah is a Rohingya refugee and lives with another family in this makeshift camp at Kalindi Kunj. One of the many camps established for Rohingyas in Delhi and in the country. Ataullah faced many issues initially, but despite all odds, he got along with the local boys. When I play football here, when I play with them, I also felt good to see them and play with them. But I had a little problem with Hindi language. This temporary settlement hosts more than 45 other families like Atawullah. They have been living here for many years now. We have been living here for 40 years. हम दस साल यहाँ जिंदगी हुआ तीस साल हम शांति नहीं मिले बर्मा में बांग्लादेश में बर्मा में इंडिया में हम लोग अच्छा लग रहे सर The Rohingyas fled from their native Rakhine state in Myanmar to escape the persecution at the hands of the state military. Despite the appalling conditions they live in, Rohingyas say they like it here in India, but the community is worried now. Kiran Rijiju. Union Minister of State for Home Affairs has said Rohingyas are illegal immigrants and must be deported. This is a serious concern for the community living in India. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Rohingyas are considered one of the most persecuted minority communities in the world. Myanmar doesn't recognize them as its citizens. Over there, they are considered Bengali immigrants. According to estimates, India plans to deport as many as 40,000 Rohingyas back to Myanmar or Bangladesh. Burma Bejne se sab se achcha hum yahan maar do, ye sab se achcha rehega. Kyunki hum bahot mushkil hain. Burma naam sunti hi hamara dil chota ho jate hain sab. Groups like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty have urged India not to deport the community and view the issue as a humanitarian one. Like most of them here in the camp, Ataullah is also worried because of the proposed plan. So, yes, we have a lot of messages. If we have a lot of people who are in the government, we have a lot of people who are in the government. This camp may not be the place he was born, but it is the place he now calls home.